If you keep talking, I'll leave and you can have it out with the rest of these people. If you keep talking, I'm going to leave and you can have it out with them. Just a loud mouth. Go ahead. If you, if you, Mr. President, uh, Mr. President, uh, go ahead. Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, today, 600,000 cases, 25,000 deaths. I know you want to bring, blame the WHO, but I've spoken to hundreds of people across the country in the last few weeks who say they still can't get tested and that uh, they aren't social distancing because so they the say, wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, yeah, yeah. So Excuse me. They aren't, Excuse me. I know, I know your question. Well, you ready? The governors, the governors are supposed to do testing. It's up to the governors. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. Just get back. Quiet. 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 Mr. President, they say that they are not. Mr. President, they are following your lead. That they are not social. The governors are doing the testing. It's now not up, and it hasn't been up to the federal government. Go ahead, Mr. President. I have a quick call on the WHO, but sir, if I told them when they put this guy here, it's nothing but trouble. He's a showboat. If you keep talking, I'll leave and you can have it out with the rest of these people. If you keep talking, I'm going to leave and you can have it out with them. Just a loud mouth. Go ahead. If you, if you could kind of clarify, are you basically lifting your slow the spread before the no, May 1 deadline? No, and then, I'm and not then at how, all. And no. then how many the states? governors are going to be running their individual states. Some of them will say, no, I can't open now. And some of them may last longer than we even would think. Others will say, I can. You can go. I don't want to mention states, but there are numerous states that are in great shape right now. They have we don't even believe this is happening. We have a lot of those states. They're set to open practically now. I mean, they would be open now. We're going to let them open sooner than the date. We're going to pick a date. We're going to get a date that's good. But it's going to be very, very soon, sooner than the end of the month. But there are many states out there that are looking at this and they're reviewing it and they're saying, we shouldn't be even included in this. You know, there are some that open up almost now. Now, if we disagree with it, we're not going to let them open. We're not going to let them open. If some governor said, you know, has a lot of problems, a lot of cases, a lot of death, and they want to open early, we're not going to let it happen. So we're there to watch. We're there to help. But we're also there to be critics. And on testing, very important, we've always wanted the states to do the testing. We're now providing great testing, but the state has to provide the great testing. The state has to provide the ventilators, but they didn't do that. So we ended up going into the ventilator business, essentially, and we've made tens of thousands of ventilators, and we solved a big problem for the states. But we want them to do the testing, and we are there to help. Yeah, please. I have two questions, or I have a question on the one governor. One question, just one. Well, I have a question on the governor. So first, can I follow up on Jordan's One question, go ahead. Can I follow up on Jordan's question? Do you go want ahead. to walk back where you did praise China in January for being transparent about the I'm always virus? respectful of China. I'm respectful of other countries. Why wouldn't I be respectful of China? In the meantime, China's paid us nothing in your last administration, nothing in any previous administration, they paid us tens of billions of dollars because of what we've done. And the trade deal we have, they have to give us $250 billion in purchases. Let's see if they do that. And they're also paying us 25% of $250 billion in tariffs. So we're taking in, wait a minute, we're taking in billions of dollars for China, from China. They never paid us 10 cents. That's a great thing. Now, if they don't produce or if we find out bad things, we're not going to be happy. But right now, and, and we're doing that. That's what we're doing. Look, we have an investigation underway. We're paying almost $500 million. We have an investigation underway on the World Health Organization. We will find out exactly what went on. And we may be satisfied that it can be remedied. And we may be satisfi satisfied that it's so bad that it can't be remedied. And if it can't, we're going to go a different route. That's my question. You're criticizing the WHO for praising China for being transparent, but you also praise China for being transparent. I don't talk about China's transparency. January, there's well, you know, if I'm so good to China, how come I was the only person, the only leader of a country that closed our borders tightly against China? And by the way, when I closed our border, that was long ahead of what anybody you can ask, anybody that was in the room, 21 people. I was the one person that wanted to do it. Deborah can tell you that better than anybody. I was the one person that wanted to do it. You know why? Because I don't believe everything I hear. 
And I closed. And if we didn't close our border early, very early, long before the kind of dates you're talking about, we would have had thousands and probably hundreds of thousands more deaths. Please. I'm talking about how Please. You said That's enough. Thank you.